Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to my channel. So, there's something I need to address before we get into today's video, and that is our little subscriber family on here has literally doubled within the past couple of days, and this is because the absolute angel um, that she is, Jillian, aka Pixie Locks, which I'm sure a lot of you will know. I adore her, um, I love her content so much, and I look up to her quite a lot. Well, she very, like, I'm honestly, <laughs> I'm crying just thinking about it again. She made a video a couple of days ago talking about her top 10 favorite kawaii creators that she felt like needed more love and needed more recognition for the hard work that they put into their content. And somehow on that list, I was on there like, I was just like, what? But like I woke up and I got um some messages from from my friends being like oh my god Julia mentioned you in her like upload and I, then I just went to my um first I went to my Instagram and I was just like I literally gained like 500 followers overnight I was just like what and then I would check my channel and I gained like almost a thousand subscribers I was just like I was just mind blown and if you're watching this Julian then I just want to say from the bottom of my heart like I don't know if I'm overreacting or anything but it really meant so much to me it's not even about the numbers and like how many extra subscribers I have it's just more the fact that somebody like had recognized the hard work and effort that I do put into this and wanted to say hey go and watch her you know she deserves more love and like I've... and this year hasn't gone off to the best start and it was just really nice just to get a bit of extra love to be honest as yeah things have been quite tough recently and that was something that have really put a very big smile on my face so thank you so much and welcome to everybody who's joined my channel my name is katie and i make content surrounding kawaii culture things about japan videos about video games so I hope you will stick around and enjoy my content. With that being said, today's video also, apologies if you can hear the rain, it's, I live in the UK so it's gonna rain all the time so sorry if you can hear the rain. For today's video I wanted to do one showcasing my kawaii shoe collection. I say kawaii because I pr primarily do own like pastel and cute shoes but I do have some other shoes that are like black boots and they're pretty boring and you probably don't want to see them. So yes, I've got them all lined up on my floor here. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump straight into today's video. First pair of shoes I'm gonna be showing you guys today is my current sort of everyday pair of shoes and they are like my most recent addition to my shoe collection. And you've probably seen them being featured a lot on my Instagram and stuff like that because I'm obsessed with them. And it is these, I don't wanna touch the soles because they're like really dirty. These beautiful platform trainers. I got these from eBay as I was actually on the hunt for, for some more platform trainers as I do also own a pair of like YRU ones, but they've, they're just like dead. They're so dirty. Oh, where's my head in? They are so dirty. They are just like worn out. So I needed some new ones. And I saw quite a, l a lot of like other creators have probably had reviewed these and i believe you can also purchase these on like store envy and places like that so i'll try and link to them below a lot of these shoes you probably won't be able to get your hands on now unfortunately but i'll link to the ones that you can still get these are just some white platform trainers and you will be thinking what is this led strip and that is because they do light up now unfortunately i've not charged them um but yes these do light up they have like, if I try and show you, um, like inside there, actually, well I'll get to why there's something covering that in a minute, but yes, if you press like the inside button then the colour of the LED light will change and it will cycle through various colours and eventually you'll get to a point where they start to flash, which I don't like, it's a bit obnoxious to me, but they're really really cool and like I wore them for Hyper Japan and stuff and it was so cool because everyone was just like, oh my god, your shoes. And yeah, they're just really cool and fun to be honest. So if I do ever want to have a bit of an extra oomph to my outfit, then these are great. I did put in these pink laces myself because they came in white ones, but I wanted some pink ones, of course. Why not? And I think I got these laces off Amazon. And yeah, so as for the shoe itself, I got these in a UK size 5 because I'm a size 5. And as for the fit, they're like... The, they're comfortable like they're not heavy at all because a lot of things 
the biggest issue with platform shoes is that they can be quite heavy but these are not like that at all they are really comfortable and they're super, like, super easy to walk in as all platforms are I'm used to platform shoes so to me I have no issue but I know if you're not used to wearing them and you like flats then it's a bit weird um, as for why I have something covering the button that's because the main gripe I have with these shoes is the bit where you have to press the button to change the colour and it still does this occasionally now it's like it'll dig into your feet I'm not even kidding it's so it was so painful at first so I had to get like a special shoe like things to cover it up and even now they do still sometimes dig into my ankles and I'm like not going to lie it's messed them up quite a bit which is a bit sad considering it's a pair of shoes but um, I think I have weird feet anyway because no matter what shoes I wear they always cause me pain but um, that aside like they're really awesome shoes they go with all my outfits and so far they've stayed pretty clean they're a bit easy to clean because they're patent than my white why are you on so hopefully i'm hoping they will last a bit longer but yep i love these oh and they cost about 50 pounds i believe so that was pretty good so yep if you want these i'll link to these down below my next pair of shoes i'm going to be showing you are these gorgeous pink platforms now the next few pairs i'm going to be showing you are actually all ones i picked up when i was in japan again last year so unfortunately you won't be able to really get them but maybe on places like store envy you'll be able to find similar ones these i got from a shoe shop in shibuya 109 um yeah the brand's like in japanese and these are a japanese size l all of my japanese shoes are a size l as that is my equivalent japanese shoe size so make sure to try them on just so you know that they'll fit like i did try these on and they're, they fit fine um yep so they're just pink platforms they have a really cool cute buckle up here this is a heel got a white sole and um, yeah there's not really that much to say about these they're like just super comfy they're easy to put with outfits they go with a lot of my outfits obviously i don't know if you can tell but they have kind of like a flowery print design which is super nice i really love that i can't wait till it's summer so i can pair these with some more Liz Lisa outfits next pair of shoes are a pair i picked up in harajuku during my last japan trip and these were a lot cheaper than the other ones there is like a shoe shop in harajuku that sells a lot of kind of like cheaper just general like kawaii harajuku style shoes so they had so much there like kind of so hard to pick but i just wanted to get a pair of shoes that i could really wear for my trip like when walking around because you walk so much because you could not well, last a day in liz lisa hills trust me like your feet will be dying no matter what shoe you wear and these are them they're just some like pink suede platform shoes and they have like also a little buckle up like thing there which comes up to your ankle so these are just really really cute and again there's not a lot to say about them they're very easy to walk in they didn't like cause any pain they're really comfortable they're just very easy to pair with outfits and i love them a lot although i have to say because they are suede they've gotten scuffed up like quite easily um as you can see on the front here but that was like honestly all from like walking around japan and stuff but that's the only thing with like having pink, so many pink shoes and like white shoes like the marks will show so easily which is pretty annoying the next pair of shoes I have to show you guys are these awesome fairy things. Look at these, these are so cool. Again, I picked these up from like the same shoe shop in Harajuku. Um, I'm, I wish I knew what the prices were. Um, they're all like a Japanese size L again, because it's my size. They're probably like, I think they're all around like 3,000 yen maybe. Possibly, don't, don't quote me on that. But make sure you shop around for shoes, because you can definitely buy them like cheaper than some other shoe shops and again these are just some kind of like platform sandal shoes these were like so in when i was in japan like even in the past somewhere in the western side of the world like variations of these shoes were definitely in like the furry sliders so i had to get myself some they've got the furry bit here they're a little bit squash from where they've been in my wardrobe and they've got like a velcro strap there to do them up which is really easy and again they're just like 
they're really easy to walk in i can't wait till it's summer again till i can wear these again i was just talking for like two minutes and i thought i was recording but i wasn't but oh well so yes the next few pairs i'm going to be showing you are all my liz lisa shoes again i purchased i purchased why can't i say the word purchased i bought all of my liz lisa shoes i can't talk today i bought all of my liz lisa shoes directly from the tokyo kawaii life site make sure you check your sizing so that when you get them they'll actually fit you first pair i'm going to be showing you are my wonderful lace-up pom-pom shoes i adore these so much they're like they're the first pair i got so they hold a very special place in my heart they have really cool cross like lacing on the back they've got a detachable pom-pom on the front of course the heel is super high but they're very chunky so they're very easy to walk in and they've got like the crisscross lace up it here now obviously if you're not an experienced person with heels then you will have some difficulty i certainly did it first with these like oh my god um it was so hard but now i'm like used to it and they do take a while to break in i'm warning you but these are like my sort of go-to pair to wear just because i worn them so much so that like they are my most comfortable pair um they i'm trying to think what they cost they i think all these lisa shoes shoes are around ten thousand this year and so they're pretty expensive but they are absolutely stunning like i wish my entire wardrobe was just liz lisa but sadly the weather doesn't always accommodate for that here the next pair of liz lisa heels i own are a velvet pair and i've worn these a lot less but i still love these nonetheless these are such a stunning look at them like oh my gosh these have just got like a they're just like plain velvet all over they have a very pretty de detachable bow on the front and they also came with some pom-poms i believe as well also got the usual like crisscrossy angle i don't know what you call this thing but there's a little pearl on there as well and they, they, they're just absolutely stunning like ah. Oh. They're just like so pretty. I love these so much. And I do wish that I could wear them more. But yeah. I have to say I'm always just scared to ruin them. Or any of my shoes to be honest. And the last pair of Liz Lisa shoes that I currently own. Are these. And these are probably my favourite I have to say. Mainly because of the furry bow on the back. And oh, they are like the most perfect winter Liz Lisa shoes ever because I have the coat I wear with my Liz Lisa outfits has like fur on the collar so it matches really really well and it obviously gives off a very wintry vibe because of the fur and again these are just more of a pale pink pair they have like it's got like little ruffling around the outside here and more like lacy crisscrossing on the back um yeah these are also kind of like a these are also kind of like a suede material. Oh, they, they all feel really nice. Um, yeah, I love these a lot. And I have to, I have to say, out of all my shoes my own, my Liz Lisa ones are definitely my favourite. And the last two pair of shoes I'm going to be showing you guys today are two Lolita pairs of shoes. Or ones to be worn with Lolita fashion. I mean, you can obviously inc incorporate them to other styles, but they're mainly um meant for lolita cords now i know i don't wear lolita anymore um it's not that i hate the fashion obviously i made a whole video about that like if you want to see that i'll try and link that down below but i still kept onto them just because i like them and i might return to the fashion one day i just haven't got around to like setting them yet and the first pair are like these shoes are just something else oh my god it's the angelic pretty glitter tea party shoes like okay firstly these shoes are murder on your feet holy crap every time i wore these to a con i wanted to die <laughs> like they are stunning but just no like i would honestly i would only ever wear them to like super fancy like tea parties and um like cons sometimes just because they are just murder oh and i even had to have put inside like like special insulting things because they just killed my feet so much but anyway regardless these are this the angelic pretty glitter tea party shoes i got these a couple of years ago now i know they've made like other var variations of colors i got these mainly to wear with my milky cross lavender cord and they went perfectly they're so stunning they've got a free bow on the back just all the buckles they've got hearts a beautiful pearl detailing like, they're definitely like the most pretty pair of shoes that i own i'm just sad that i never got to wear them more but I'm still going to hang on to them because I just can't part with them. 
and yeah these are also a japanese size l um that's the one thing i hate about lowly shoes is they're just all like they all muddy your feet so much and it's such a shame and the last pair of shoes i'm going to be showing you guys today are just some plain pink angelic pretty not angelic pretty these are secret shop pink tea party shoes that i used to wear with a lot of my other cords they're just like a really good lowly to staple just these are like i have to say whenever i wore these it was really weird because obviously i'm used to heels and platforms and these are like pretty flat so i always felt very very odd when wearing these um they're a little bit big for me um for some reason i have a lot of trouble with like flat shoes for some reason trying to fit my feet but I just really need some new um, pink tea party shoes as I previously owned a bodyline pair that were just no I hated them to death they were horrible and I managed to find these um, where shipping wasn't extortionate they are just a very pretty light pink pair they've got a little wooden heel a little bow on the back Ooh, trying not to focus my camera is not behaving Yep, they're just your good old standard tea party shoes. That just about does it for my kawaii shoe collection. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Tell me down below in the comments which pair of shoes was your favourite. Um, like what shoes, what kinds of shoes you own. Um, if there are any like kawaii shoes that I should check out. I have a, on my eye on a lot of shoes, including the Why Are You Confetti shoes. The like cool light light, light up trainers waiting for them to come back in stock in my size so hopefully i can get them soon don't forget to like and subscribe before you go thank you for watching and i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in my next video bye